Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome again. And today we are going to show you another demo for an Spring Boot project. And uh, it's e housing society management project. Like uh, uh, we have a society, another society. There might be a multiple houses are there, and uh, the multiple house owners are there. So how can manage this kind of thing? Like uh, complete society data or cells or uh, like if you any uh, like let's say rent list or some rented if a user want to search a rented flat or a sell flat whatever the sales currently that project is not in running so showing error so we'll do run now okay i just moved to my you know, my id uh, which is i'm using it's sts so for now i'm closing my current project and I'm just moving to e-housing society okay so now I'm just stopping my server for now and I will rerun the server in a while okay so if you we talk about the technologies it's using to a spring boot to manage the backend the complete backend part uh, for the front end, it's using JPN, JSP, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap. So many things are there for the front end, like uh, uh, to make the makeover of the elements. Like to define the elements, we have to use HTML. To make over the elements, we have to use Bootstrap. We have to use Bootstrap or CSS thing. Some client side validation, we are using JavaScript over there. So it's depend on the requirement. So for the back end, completely it's using uh, Spring Boot and following mbc architecture you can see the controllers are there dtos are there dao classes are there okay to manage the dao or backend uh, it's using mysql database and which is connected by the have uh, so here if i move to my mysql database we have a user table society table rent table messages houses complaints and allocate so these are the tables are there and under the table we have different different roles of the application like user user is a one entity but user can be a multiple user of that particular application so it can be an admin it can be a house owner so according to this we are defining the role id here so role id one means it's admin role id two means it's a house owner so let's run the project now and check how the front end is working and how the functionality what are the functionality of the application as you know the project is deployed over the tomcat server so i'm just going to right click on my main application which is my e-housing application java file around this when i right click on this i just go to run as run on the spring boot app okay if you see the process server is going to start now and it's the starting okay it says it started successfully now the next thing you need to check the port number so in case like you have you have bought the project you have configured that project at your machine and next you are going to run the project so make sure uh, you see this message I started uh, your housing application successfully by jvm and the port number and the path is this so how you can make the path so just nothing you need to worry about just go to under the resources open the application properties file and here we will put the url so let's say uh let's take the url so currently i'm creating a url so i'm running localhost 8080 and after that i need to put this E housing slash e housing when I enter this that application will load so now we can consider this as, as a URL so it will be URL for your upcoming sessions okay uh, so project is run successfully and now if I talk about the home page we have a header where we can contact us page we we have a contact us page so user can fill this page and uh, contact to the admin and other option under the footer section we have a login okay so we can log in as a user and different different roles are there uh, when you see the login page we have a listed society so in this application currently three societies are listed so these are the list of societies 
along with that we have a search option to search uh, any society search by like search house by society or you can filter it by society you can filter it by uh, like in this society there is no house so it's showing now this and select for sales for rent or yeah you can check accordingly like for sales this record is available in this society this house is available for the sales and in this society this house available for the rent along with if you click on the rent list you will get a uh, detail of the rented houses in this application so we have another option to add message so you can add your message that message will be displayed to the house owner so let's say uh, whatever the house owner of this project like name is this and this is the email id so if i enter the message my name let's say and um, subject need house on rent and i enter my contact number so one two three four five six seven nine ten and i enter some message and click on the save button the message is saved successfully and that message will be displayed to the admin user if i show you the database message table you will see the new database entry here once when we log in with this user or with this owner house owner he will get this message okay so uh, similarly under the cells uh, cell list we have a option uh, we have all the list that houses are available for the sales when we click on the add message again you can send the message to that house house owner now uh, let's log in and check the user roles one by one okay to view the user roles you just need to right click on the user table and select the first option you will get this so as you can see the role id one we always use for the admin so these are the credential for the admin one to three for the admin user and here we have a password for it so i think i have clicked somewhere else okay yeah now what admin can perform admin can add a new society let's say some new society come to the application admin and they want to register into this so i i, I enter let's say omax and uh, it should be a but we are using not using this name so let's say new new society and how many numbers of house are there in the society let's say i enter 500 and the city let's say indoor my pin code four five two zero one zero six or something address choose the image so i'm going to use this image and click on save now if i go to society report i can see the new society and the indoor location with the new society with how this is available here we have other option to add a delete and search the society another option admin can add a new houses so let's say under the new society i'm going to add a new house so let's say house number 101 and the block a and the house type is 1 vhk 2 vhk 3 vhk so let's say 2 vhk and i enter the detail and click on the save it says name is already registered so this id is already in the database so you can say uh, new society 101 new society 101 and click the save now save successfully if you see the house report the house name this, this, this details are there again we have a crude operation here you can delete the record by check this and click on the delete it will delete the record and will edit the record and you can search the record by name next thing we have a allocate houses let's say some house is going to sell and we are going to allot that house to that particular uh, member particular member or owner so here we can fill this complete form and we can allocate the house to that particular user let's say i'm gonna allocate some house to this user and let's say my email id is sd.gmail.com mm, okay let's say this is my number date of birth so always make sure you are entering data in this format number of member in the house total five let's say house which house i want to uh, assign to this person to let's say new society 
and select the house number so this is the house image the same imaging using the same image and the username three and the password is demo so I click on the save button allocated house is saved successfully and now members report under the members report you will see this house this is the sales report and this is the rent report so admin doesn't have any capability to uh, access to uh, make any property as a sale or rent so house house owner only can do that things so next we will log in with house owner and we'll see how the house owner can keep their properties on rent or sell so that's it uh, let's log from the admin side i just logged out from the admin side now if you notice we have another society the new society listed of the home login page so now if i move to my user table again i refresh the table i can see the new registered member is there so this is the house owner now let's say this house owner going to register uh, login in the database and login into the application and going to his house on rent or sell so i just logged in with this user and now it has uh, this dashboard so uh, like he can upload that user can upload the uh, house images he can update the owner images these images and let's say this want to uh, this user want to keep this flight on uh, rent so we just need to enter the price and click on save now it will show that the, the data this will show into the this house will be show into the uh, rent list at the over the home page also here we have a message option if someone going to check this house and going to send the message that message will be displayed here to this user and directly this house owner can contact them another option we have a my profile change password and other things uh, set from the admin side or uh, we can say we can message so the message is currently not displaying because it's not there so let me log in with a uh, like a rented list just i go to rent list and i check the new society uh, this is coming for the rent i'm going to add a new message here and uh, i just entering some dummy data so subject and name and the contact number should be valid uh, 10 digit number and the message and i click on the save i saved successfully and now if i logged in with this user and if i see the message list i got this message so this is all about for the front end user like uh, house owners and thank you so much for watching if you need this source code you can contact us over the whatsapp over the skype over the mail we have complete remote configuration so don't worry about the register like how can you set up these things at your machine also in case you are preparing for the interview or any kind of uh, interview or bios you so we have been providing the complete explanation as well so you can uh, take the services accordingly also if you visit the code1.com you will get many projects over there so you can directly contact us also we have java training program for the placement so you can contact us for this as well so these are the available project in jsp and servlet we have a have it project in Hibernate, we have a Spring PHP, we have a project in mean stack development as well. Also, we are moving to uh, day by day to learn out the new technologies to grab the new technologies to help the students. So just check it once and in case you need this, you can contact us. As I said again, um, we have a configuration support, so don't support, so don't worry about the configuration things, we will take care of it for you. Thank you.